need to get a new 100 foot 10-3 extension cord for my trailer and this is the cord that I had before from Home Depot. So it's 100 feet, it's 10 gauge, that's important. And it's uh, flexible in uh, colder weather. And this one is 147. I'm gonna look around for the Woods version, the uh, Yellow Jacket. I had one of those before and I really like those a lot too. Lowe's has a Utilitec. It's 149 for a 10-3. These guys used to carry the Yellow Jacket. That looks like the same kind of material. It's a SO, power light indicator, multiple flexible, water resistant, flame retardant, includes an adapter. And this is also rated 20 amp. Well, I like, I like this one, so I'm gonna keep this one as a definite possibility. So I'm at Lowe's again. I was looking for the electric cords and while I'm here, I'm gonna check. They did have a hose reel that I liked. It's this one right here, it's an Ames. And this one is on sale for 25. It, it's got a little, it's a, it's a little, I don't know, um, bigger of a mount but it pretty much fits behind the rail and it's got kind of a guide to go out the sides. So I think I'm gonna go with this one since they're on sale. It's a little different than my other one, but I kind of like it. This is the power cord that I found at Lowe's, 10 gauge yellow extension cord. It's made with uh, the SO cord. Um, this material works well in cold weather and it stays flexible. The yellow jacket, this is a branded uh, name that I've got a lot of their cords and I've been very happy with their cords. So I found that online uh, through Amazon for $159. I also took a look online at Walmart. They have a another one. It's uh, $20 less than the Lowe's one, $30 less than the Yellow Jacket. And it looks like it's a 10 gauge, 100 footer, ranging from minus 40 to 22. So it's uh, very flexible. Right now I'm leaning toward the Yellow Jacket mainly because I know it. I've uh, had one that I had for many, many years and it uh, went with one of my trailers and it was in perfect condition. And those ends really hold up and take a beating and don't come apart. So I'm very happy with those and saving 20, 30, 40, even $50 for an item like this that is gonna last me a very long time um, and the ends alone can be very expensive if they start to fail. So um, this uh, extension cords in area, I don't uh, usually try to save money. I'll find the brand I like, but I will and look for the best uh, deal on a particular brand. But um, I usually won't go with the, uh, uh, the non-brand -brand, uh, brand names unless I can really check them out and make sure that they are well made. It's the next morning and I think I'm going to put the shopping for the extension cord to rest. I don't need it right now and with sales and stuff coming up, I'm going to keep an eye on this Lowe's one. I went over the, the um, specs on the different cords again, including my favorite, the uh, Yellow Jacket. And this one is actually rated at 20 amps. The other ones are all rated at 15. The gauge is the same. I'm not sure if that's just a manufacturer's rating thing, but uh, I'm... If I had to choose today, I would uh, go with this one. But again, um, I don't need it right away. So I am going to uh, just put this in my uh, memory here and keep an eye on it and see if there's any uh, holiday deals. If I can uh, save a few bucks, then I'll pick it up. Well, thanks for following along as I continue to put together the necessary items I need to build the next trailer and also working on the name. That should be coming up pretty soon as well. Thanks for taking the time to watch. Have a great day.